I have been close, but the heat has not been on yet. No, Yesterday I went for me. big socks, just yeah. big, thick socks, <laughs> yeah. and that really did fix it. I'm like sweatpants, sweatshirt, bathrobe, <laughs> yes, every blanket everything. in my house. Right. And I even put this on here too. You could get away with blankets tomorrow but it may come close to you wanting to turn the heat on. Looking ahead to Wednesday and Thursday, those are going to be the coldest days of the week. Yes, it will be quite cool during the daytime, but at night, we're going to drop down to the lower 40s in Syracuse, but likely 30s for most of the countryside. It's going to be chilly at night. Even keeping the window, windows closed might not be enough. Looking ahead, though, as we head into the weekend, things will become milder for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Highs in the 60s, overnights only in the 50s, so not terrible. But during the middle of the week, you may want the heat on. We're also going to have to track the risk for showers because of this cooler air dropping in from the northwest across the Great Lakes, firing up some lake effect showers. And we've also got a Canadian system that's going to drop in from the north and keep the risk for showers over us for the next several days. Plus, this is what's bringing down some much cooler air for us for this evening. We only got up to a 65 high in Syracuse. We're now down to 61 and it's in the 50s for the rest of the area. So definitely want to dress for fall if you're heading out for your dinner plans. Luckily, though, the showers we had earlier are now tapering off to the east and the cloud cover is gradually breaking up. Right now we have a mostly cloudy sky with some peaks of sun. We'll be quiet as we head into tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the mid 50s in Syracuse by 10 p.m., but may already be in the upper 40s for the countryside locations. So quite a chilly evening. Overnight, we'll be dropping down into the upper 40s in Syracuse by sunrise on Tuesday, but could be in the lower 40s for the countryside. So a pretty chilly morning to start the day tomorrow. Plus, as that Canadian system gets closer, that's going to bring a wave of showers starting at sunrise Tuesday, and some of these could have some moderate to heavy pockets of rainfall. These will be scattered off on and off as we go through the day Tuesday under mostly cloudy sky, and it will be quite cool and breezy. Highs only looking to reach around 60 in Syracuse, but most of the countryside staying in the 50s at the warmest tomorrow. The showers will continue on and off as we go towards the evening, heading into Tuesday night as well. Even going into Wednesdays, we still have this breezy northwest wind drawing this cooler air across the Great Lakes. Eventually, though, as we head into Wednesday night is when the showers will taper to just some lingering spotty sprinkles. And by Thursday morning, there may be a lingering sprinkle or two, but we will be gradually drying out through the day. Rainfall amounts mainly for Syracuse and Oswego counties where we could see one to two inches. Eventually, though, Thursday afternoon, we dry out getting some sun late in the day. Still cool, though, with highs in the 50s. Sunshine on Friday, mid 60s, then heading into Saturday. We have a weak system that may bring a morning shower, but not much wet weather. Lower 60s during the day, 40s at night. And then a second system will bring some showers Sunday afternoon and continuing on Monday. Once again, cooling us down into the 50s to start next week. Michael. Thank you, Violet.